Oh, these kids are just walking out. Let me try to. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, these kids are walking out. Um, they are protesting against the administration. I'm going to try to get you guys some up close and personal um, to these kids so that you can see. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone who's watching. Do me a favor, share this live stream. Um, I don't believe any other outlet is live streaming. Um, so share this live stream. I'm going to try to go down there to the field where these kids are going and they're they're out there and um, they're protesting this administration here at the school. Um, they are also out here speaking, um, exercising their First Amendment right. I mean, it's very important. Um, this is the high school section of the kids. So um, they're expressing their First Amendment right. And this is very important for them to um, this is very important for, for them to go out and protest. Um, because they are children, I will not get any interviews unless they are over the age of 18. We have to still remain respectful based on their parents. But I can show you a lot of the uh, overhaul where people are conjugating. So they are walking out of school here and they're walking down here to the field and this is the field down here so I just keep the camera here so you guys can see this portion of it yes Veronica it is good to see kids exercise their first amendment right I was talking to one of the administrators and they were saying that the kids were a little concerned because they thought that the teachers were going to um, mark them absent or something of that nature but it, it, it appears that the administration is allowing them to do this and exercise their right and without any form of um, um, negative detriment to themselves so um, Gabrielle they are walking out because they are protesting the new administration the, the current administration they also they are protesting that they want to learn. Um, Patrice, you said why they're protesting. They're protesting. Uh, kids are just exercising. They're, um, Edison has been in the news and they love their school and they want to make sure that their school is handled. There are a lot of teachers there who do not um, who do not uh, feel that uh, their education is as important. Um, as you guys have been watching my show, you know I had at the Edison Middle School um, I had a parent on that talked about her son being assaulted by a teacher. Um, and you guys have seen Edison been in the news. Amy, you said, do they have a representative you can speak to? Sometimes the student council president has signed a release. Um, if they do, or if a student county, county president, a student, student council president uh, wants to speak, then that's cool. I would definitely speak with them. Um, how am I doing? Oh, hey, hey, Frankie. I'm doing good. Um, I'm tired. It's 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 chilly out here. At first, it was crazy because you thought it was kind of warm, and then all of a sudden, it's not. So it, it appears that these students have to sign a form um, when they get out there. Um, it appears that they have to sign a form, and um, once they sign this form, I guess they would be able to go to the um, the field. Um, it's really good to see that. All right, guys, do me a favor. Please share this video. Um, please share this video. I don't even know if any of the kids are live streaming. I'm going to try to get myself inside. Aliyah and Devin, you better be in class. <laughs> I hear you, DeMarco. I hear you. I hear you. But, um, you know, here's the crazy. What's up, Juanita? The crazy thing is that when I was in high school, um, those who probably remember... 20 plus years ago 
we organized a boycott. I don't think we only had like maybe 10, 15 men, people, but uh, we did it. We did it. We did it. Um, you know, it starts from here. I mean, if I wouldn't have never did that, I wouldn't have never believed in, the, you know, that we could exercise our constitutional right. This is their constitutional right. And it's really good to see kids. When I tell you kids doing this, it is so good to see kids doing this. Whether you agree with it or not, it is so good to see children, um, high schoolers. These are the people who are going to be, these are our future. These are our future leaders. And, and these are the ones who are saying enough is enough. We want change. And we're going to exercise our change the best way we know how. And I think that is very powerful, very important, very, very much important. Okay, I think, let's see, I don't have my badge on me, so I don't know if any of the teachers are going to allow, allow me to go down there or not. They may start tripping. What do I have on me? Let me think. Okay, Ali, you said, what is this about? The students are walking out and protesting um, against the injustice that they feel that is happening in their school. They also want to make a statement that they want a new administration. They also making a statement that they want to learn. They said that there are certain students there that are getting away with a lot of stuff. Um, and the current administration is not um, handling that correctly. Uh, their rights to learn. Um, they feel as if that, um, still talking about Ali, uh, Ali, uh, yeah, their rights to learn. Um, they feel as if that uh, their this current administration has been in the news too much. They love their school. And um, they just want to make the statement, uh, the statement of them walking out and protesting um, and, you know, just showing that they believe in a system of fairness. They believe in a system of democracy. And, um, you know, they just want their voices heard. Yeah, no problem, Ollie. Thanks for being here. Kelly, you said you're proud of all of them. Uh, same here. Guys, we still have more students coming out. What's up, buddies? I'm gonna try to sneak in. Help me out. If I can't sneak in, it's gonna be right on camera. Yes, they are gonna keep it peaceful. They really are. Thank you. Thank you. One student has a guitar. You said I need my own news channel. Hey, you guys just follow me. That's why I'm trying to, so I get you guys to keep following me. But um, you know, there are other news stations out there. I have to say that because I'm around them. No, it's joking. There are other news stations out here. But most importantly, I give you ground news, social justice news. I give you news from the streets. It's really important. DeMarco, you said, I've been an Edison parent for seven years and three kids have attended Edison and I've seen a change for the worse. Absolutely, DeMarco. Absolutely. Um, there's some things that are happening that these students are not happy about. Yes, this, uh, Miss Lott, this is in Tulsa. Um, this is in Tulsa, so... Yes, Veronica, the fact that these kids are out here doing something does say something. It says that they want their voices heard. I mean, this is probably maybe, I would say maybe 150 kids out here. I mean, that's that's impressive. 
Got 150 kids out here. That's that's extremely impressive to see this happen. I agree, Teresa. I agree. Sharice, you went to Edison. Sharice, I didn't know you went to Edison. I knew you was I knew you were a Tulsa baby, but I didn't know you went to Edison. Um, I thought you was a Booker T baby. Oh, Mr. Craig. <laughs> oh man, I appreciate that, Mr. Craig. Uh, Amy, I hope someone brings up the face that the step up program bill was voted down this week. It would have given teachers a much needed raise. You know, Amy, I haven't covered that, and I need to cover that um, because I've heard two sides of it, the story. I heard that it's going to add to the deficit, add to the bill, I mean, add to the budget. Um, but I think because the state is in such a dire need of funds, they're going to at least um, trying to figure out something. Um, it appears that I can't go down there to go see, at least be in there. Oh, Sharice, you went to Booker T as well? Okay. Oh, what's up, brother? What's going on, man? Are they, are they letting you down there? Or are they? Yeah, I can go down there. Okay. I'm just talking to the kids. Oh, where are you? I want to actually go down there and just show something. I bring my drone out or something. Your drone, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're fancier than all of us. Come man. on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, how are you? How you doing, Mark? man? Good, good to see you, sir. Yeah. Looking good, man. All right, guys, I'm going to go down here. We call this hustle news. <laughs> Street, streets. It's good to see this, man. Uh, we, got, we got a lot of... Whoa, you good? All right. Oh, shoot. Pop my ankle. I didn't even see that last step. Oh, dang. Y'all, I just fell down the steps. I know, I just popped my ankle. Um, Susan, you said the walkout is about isn't about teachers pay, it's about stuff happening at the school. Absolutely. Let me stop. Sharice, you said, what are they protesting for? They are protesting the administration and they want to have change. That's what I've been told. Is that what you've been told? What they've been protesting for? New administration change. Oh, I got a meeting with Deborah. Sat Friday. Yeah. Don't print it. a couple of things, stuff going on at Edison, also um, McLean, McLean stuff, yeah, Kip. yeah, yeah, we're writing something on that on uh, for the weekend, so are you, okay, if you want, there's something I need to include, okay, yeah. I'll let you know, I mean, we just, I think it's good to just meet with her, does it make sense, no, absolutely, yeah, because yeah. if we don't meet with her, then you can't just say, you know, that happened, yeah, <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm down at the field. Larry, the teacher's protesting as well. I saw Larry. I think he's down here somewhere. Um, Valisa, you said you're a graduate of Edison. What's going on? Hey, what's up, guys? I said, pay our teachers more money. They are actually standing out here for their teachers, guys. Can you believe that? They're actually standing out here for their teachers. How amazing is that? I don't believe that I, when I was in high school, I was concerned about teacher pay. Um, Alvin, you said students in North Tulsa have experienced level of injustice to get limited attention. Happy for Edison students flexing their civil muscles. However, I cannot shake the feeling that opportunity and access privilege reach people at Edison uh, first schools like McLean last education should be not dictated by zip code Alvin I agree with you 
and Alvin, you know, I think students at McLean, I believe that they are also talking and um, let's cover them as well. You know, um, Samel, you said good morning. I read about this yesterday and the children um, should leave. I'm wondering how many will take up the mantle. They are taking up the mantle. Let me show you guys this. They are really, this is amazing guys. I mean, um, we are living in a resistance movement and I think that that is very important um, that kids are exercising their rights. I mean, listen, you know, I'm an activist, so, you know, I, I, I love this stuff. I love this stuff to say that, hey, we need attention. Mark Manley, I know you're here, you're watching it, and a lot of you guys believe that it's really important for kids to, or just people to exercise their rights. And, you know, if we don't have our children doing this, then we're lost. This entire country was founded on people who dared to believe that something must change. Something must change. You wouldn't have women's rights if it wasn't for Susan, Susan B. Anthony and the um, Women's Coalition, the Bra Burners, which is the <laughs> street name they gave them. You wouldn't have all this if it wasn't for people. I mean, Vietnam, people protested. Civil rights movement, labor movement. Guys, you you know, you can't just look at this with a close, close eyes. This is the beginning. This is how it starts. I'm gonna try to come over here and get a larger field of view. Okay. So, okay, for those who are just now watching, this is a student walkout for uh, Edison High School. They have walked out today um, about 20 minutes ago before I started the stream. Uh, about 20 minutes ago, they are on the football field, the track and field. I would say possibly, maybe, uh, since I'm down here now, I can kind of give you a little bit more accurate count. I would say probably about 100, maybe 100 plus students who have walked out. Um, and they have exercised their rights because they feel as if that they want to get the attention out there. Uh, we have every news outlet out here who covering the story. Um, we also have um, um, students. Students are being their own citizen journalists. I see so many kids out here with their cell phones, with their, um, let, me, let me point the camera over here. I see so many students out there with their cell phones. They are being their own citizen journalists. Do not discount the fact that you guys with your cell phone do not discount the fact that with your cell phone, you can go out here and change the world. Trust and believe you me. You can change the world with your computer in your phone and your in your pocket. So these students are out here protesting and they're out here making noise. It is just beautiful. All right, I'm going to stop talking and let you hear. They're actually over here screaming. This is beautiful. So sorry I got here late guys. They were chanting, what do we want justice? What do, when do we want it? We want it now. Just brings back a familiar tone several years ago to all who have been watching me and, and studying what our organization has been doing. This is just amazing. Guys, thank you guys for joining. Um, you're watching uh, students at Edison have walked out. Try to move a little closer.
to Marco, thank you for encouraging your son. That is amazing.
Okay, guys, if you have been watching, <clears throat> yes, Peggy, Mike is out here doing his thing as usual. Guys, if you have been watching um, this feed, and if it's starting to get choppy, I apologize. Um, what you have been watching is students walking out of Edison. They are protesting on behalf of the administration. They are protesting on behalf that they want their kit. They want more money for their teachers. They are protesting on behalf of wanting teachers pay. They're also protesting because they want they want attention to be brought to their school for change. They're also protesting that they just want the administration to be changed. Um, they feel that the administration um, overlooks their concerns. They feel that the administration is not hiring quality teachers. They feel that the administration is not dealing with problem students and hindering students from learning. Okay, guys, we're told, like I told you in the beginning of the stream, we're told that if a kid is not over the age of 18, we can't interview them. So, just let you know. I would, be, I would enjoy to interview some of these kids, but, you know, we have to follow their rules and respect. It appears that the students are walking. So what I'm going to do is probably follow them. Looks like people are walking.
All right, guys, these kids are now walking around the track um, to continue to protest. They are doing their thing. Ashley, you said, while my son gets his hoodie taken away on a daily basis, I see several kids wearing the same thing. Ashley, what school does your son go to? What's, what school does he go to? What school does he attend? Um, I think one of the challenges is is that um, each school sets different policies, so there is a um, a system policy for the public school system, and then there is an individual policy for each school. Like, for example, some some schools have uniforms, and some schools don't. I just think this is amazing, guys, um, to see this happening. And the fact that these students are exercising their rights. But I definitely would tell you guys something. Coming from the East Coast, you guys are lucky. You know why? That's turf, dog. That's turf. That is turf. This is turf. We, we didn't have turf when we played football. We had grass and dirt. Y'all got turf. <laughs> Sorry, I had a flashback just a minute. Guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If the stream is a little choppy, I apologize. Um, these are students who have walking out of Edison High School. Edison High School is located in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Those who are watching from afar, these students have walked out and decided to say enough is enough. They have decided to say that they are tired and they want change. Um, I'm literally, while these kids are walking, I'm literally going to just stand in the middle and let these kids just walk by. That's what I'm literally going to do. Oh, looks like they stopped. You said, Peggy, is this the entire school? No, it's not the entire school. Like about a hundred plus kids. those who are watching this is Edison High School preparatory high school in Tulsa Oklahoma
It appears that the kids are going back now. I'm gonna go back and kind of get some of the, the, the views where kids are walking to. Sorry guys, I'm just moving. Okay guys, I'm just back the way. Looks like the kids are going back into class or starting to exit the um, field. For those who've been checking in late, this is Edison Preparatory High School students walking out as a form of protest. They are protesting teacher's pay. They're protesting um, a new administration at their school. Keep in mind that the current administration is the principal over the middle school and also the high school. So this current administration is over both um, schools. So there's an Edison middle school and then there's an Edison high school. So they're over that. Um, and they're protesting today. Sorry if, guys if you're getting the win. I apologize. So they are protesting today in reference to they want change. They also want students to be held accountable for their actions. Apparently they have a lot of students who um, came out uh, that was unruly and they want them disciplined. I was sent a video that a student just stood up on top of, uh, I didn't show the video, but someone sent it to me. Um, a student stood on top of um, a, a table and started saying F Edison, F Edison. So. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Do me a favor, please share this stream. It's very important that, you know, these kids get the attention that they need. And um, for those who are watching who don't have kids in Edison, you still have to appreciate the fact that uh, these students have decided to exercise their right. And um, this is encouraging the parents. Um, whether your student goes to another school um, and they come to you and they talk about some type of social action, please encourage them to do so. Just do it peacefully. Um, but it's very important. Our country was founded upon the principles of people protesting. And, you know, if you don't squeeze this fruit, you're not going to get any juice from it because they're not going to willingly give you juice. You like that metaphor? <laughs> Well, I thought the students were going to exit, but it appears that they're not. And they're still here. This has been going on for about 48 minutes. This is how long the stream has been going on. So please do me a favor, guys, and please share the video. You know, I don't, I'm doing this out of labor of love and also bringing you guys some of this news. So, you know, please share the video. Let people know that, you know, Mark Lewis is out here streaming in the cold. <laughs> in the cold so thank you guys for watching it's really important that we continue to encourage our youth to exercise their rights let me see if I can get a little closer looks as if the students are just conjugating and talking amongst themselves and some wants to leave, some doesn't, they don't want to leave. But it also appears that this administration is allowing the students to kind of be free.
for those who are watching, today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. And also, it's two more days to Black Panther. <laughs> okay, Yolanda, you said you missed this. Yolanda, thanks for joining. Yolanda, they are protesting on behalf of Teachers Pay. They also want the change. Let me see if I can get a little closer, guys. Get all this activity. It appears that per Larry Cagle, um, there are students from third periods are heading down here now. So it looks like more students are joining them. Interesting. You're absolutely right, Yolanda. Diane, um, North Tulsa schools um, are, you guys help me out, I think it's Central, um, Booker T. Washington, um, McLean. and Rogers. I hope I got them all, guys. This is amazing, guys, the country that we live in.
Okay, you guys, probably what just happened was that the, um, I think one of the uh, Latino uh, radio or TV stations locally here was just covering the Latino students. And um, it, uh, <laughs> it's just amazing uh, how it's very important. I, I keep saying this again. It's very important, even though we are a melting pot, but we do have factions that needs to be represented. Hey, can I see your sign? Can I see your sign? Can you post your sign? This is the reason why they're protesting. Back up a little bit. This is why they're protesting. Thank you, man. What's up, buddy? Cake is You're 18, right? Yeah, okay. So you want to interview? All right, cool. Oh, right, you're good, man. All right, so why are you guys out here? Why are you doing I think the only is Really? And you've been very active, you know. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. All right, here we go. You've been very active. I'm sorry guys if you can't hear I apologize. It's a lot of lies out here. <laughs> yeah, it's live feed. Are you 18? Are you 18? I can't interview you if you're not 18. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. But we can show you signs and stuff. You can yell, do whatever. I just can't interview you, okay? I apologize you can't hear. It's just really noisy out here. Okay, guys, I apologize. I did interview one of the students. You probably couldn't hear him. Um, like a bonehead, I forgot my microphone. 
I got a, a little small iRig mic, but I should have had a handheld. Wasn't thinking I was going to do some interviews because they were kids. But um, next time, guys, next time I definitely will have my uh, microphone <laughs> with me. I'm always preaching. Be prepared, and this is happening. Okay, guys, thanks for thank you for watching. Um, let me just answer, uh, Jer Jaren, Jaren. I think that's uh, your name. Uh, this is in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, kids are walking out at Edison Preparatory High School in reference to teachers' pay, the new administration change. Um, also, they want the students to be held accountable who are creating a ruckus in school. But um, what I'm seeing here more of the signs is just teachers' pay. I mean, it's amazing that these kids are coming out saying teachers' pay. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> in the stream now thank you for watching share this video for me please share this video and i apologize is that better maybe i just flipped it around maybe this is a lot better It's amazing to see the different factions that we have and it starts you know how we all conjugate together I think that's one of the ob observations that I see you good man How many viewers you, got? you know this software I can't see the viewers I don't know they they show the uh, the likes or something I'm trying I'm trying to gauge what art because if you're getting interest, I'm wondering if we're getting interest, et cetera, et cetera. I'm yeah. Trying to gauge that. Normally, I mean, these pe people in here are very excited. A lot of people are watching. You know, I'm seeing a lot of the teachers pay, which is really interesting considering, you know, the vote that happened. I think it was last year, last it was, night. It was yeah. Monday. No, Monday, yeah. Monday night, yeah. Yeah. So. The administration is just letting them do this, man. This is... <laughs> Did you? No, I just smelled it. It's over, it's over there. I know that. I know it's here, but I hope I'm stepping in it. Well, they got stepped in it. Oh, man. I just caught a good whip. Did you really? It. Yeah. It oh, it's over it. there. I know. I was worried. I was like... You don't think you're getting a lot of interest on this? No, I think we are. I'm just trying yeah. to figure it out. Just gauge it, yeah. Because, you know, in this day of modern, uh, you know, clicks, yeah. you, you judge yourself by your clicks. Of That's course. Of Everything is about that. <laughs> All right, guys, do me a favor. Please share this video. I'm sorry the audio was a little low. I have a mic. I just didn't break mine. <laughs> I didn't bring mine this time. I do have a microphone. It's actually plugged in. It's an iRig, a little small one. All right, let me go a little closer. The chant was, "This what, this is what America is supposed to do." Okay, thank you so much, Gerald. Yeah, for those who are watching currently right now, I would say this is historical. This is historical. Um, we have currently right now students who have walked out of Edison Preparatory High School to protest teachers' pay.
Oh, wow. Thanks, guys, for letting me know. I don't know how many people are on the stream. Just keep sharing it. Keep sharing the stream. Guys, I'm gonna try to go in here again. I was going to end the stream, but you guys don't want me to. Thank you guys for watching. Please keep sharing the video. It appears that we have, um, the administration is allowing the students to stay out um, as long as they want to. We have some students, they just are um, talking amongst themselves and um, relaxing and expressing their civil duties. Thank you guys. Thanks, Peggy, for letting me know. that the administration is allowing this to happen. Yeah. yeah. For this long period of time. They don't want it. They don't. I know. Right. I saw her messing with you the other, uh, earlier. Well, she was telling me that anybody that I interviewed needed, she needed they to call Facebook. their parents and make sure. And I said, there's like 20 kids out here on Facebook Live. Yeah. So They're already public. All right, guys, just for a brief minute moment, kids are being kids, which is interesting. I think because the day of love, people are asking, um, there you go. Crazy. Oh man, kids being kids, guys. Alright, Cardi B. If you watching this, <laughs> he loves you. <laughs>
His name is Jesse Ole. Jesse Ole. Car- he loves Cardi B. <laughs> He's a hashtag. All right, guys, I'm going to try to walk within the crowds. Just bear with me. I'm Mark Lewis. We uh, with the organization called We the People of Oklahoma. Yeah. So we just... All right, guys. All right, guys, thank you for watching. This, these are Edison Preparatory High School students in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They have walked out to protest a very, a variation of things. Teachers pay, um, the lack of, you know, a future for themselves that they feel. They also are protesting in reference to, they want an administration change. Um, it says roses are red, Edison is green, disrespecting teachers is utterly mean. That's what one of the flyers says. Uh, another one says, if we want children to be re- successful, we have to take care of our teachers. Um, another one says, teachers please stay. Teachers please stay. And then we have a 5,000, it's just a start. The 5,000 had a lot to do with the um, Step Up program, which failed. Monday night, Monday night um, in the state capitol to raise wages for teachers. Um, and that failed, so they're protesting that as well. So it's just really good to see teachers. I think we saw a couple of teachers out here. It was also great to see students out here exercising their civic duty and um, all parts of life from, from, we're a melting pot here in Tulsa. And also in America, you know, we're a melting pot. And it's good to see so many different diverse people exercising a common thing that they feel. They all are together. And that's something that you don't see often, especially that's being portrayed in the news media. We see so many kids that are fighting and, you know, being disrespectful. But you rarely see kids exercising their their rights. Um, And now you have it. Thank you, students, for doing this. As an activist, I can definitely say thank you. And I'm sure you guys as parents, you guys approve of it. So please do me a favor, keep sharing this video. We need to get more shares, more shares. It is so important. More shares, more shares. Keep sharing it. Thank you. Thank you, Mims. I appreciate it. Parents, if you have kids that are in public schools, please please encourage them to exercise their, their civic duty. I mean, to vote if they're 18, register to vote if they're 17, 17 and a half, they can go ahead and um, register. And by the time the new election comes around, they can vote. But also, if they're not that, just encourage them to be um, active within civic duty. And this is a beautiful thing.
Thank you so much, Brother Harris. Happy Valentine's Day, teachers. All right, I'm gonna move around just a little bit, guys. Thank you, guys. Not sure what's going on here, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, they're they're playing duck duck goose. <laughs> Here's that. Thank you guys for watching. Please share this video. Um, it looks as if the, this protest is coming to an end and um, students are walking back into class. shares on it. right here Thank you guys for watching. Please share the video.